What's up, FB? I am pulled over in a Target parking lot because it is just that urgent for me to give you guys my testimony. Okay? So, some of you don't know, you know that I resigned from a bus driver. Um, and you see, this was before all of this stuff is going on that they're protesting. But God had been dealing with me for like two years to come off of that job. But I'm just like everybody else. I needed some financial security. Um, I needed the benefits because I got health issues. And I was just not really fully trusting God. Okay, my first mistake. So I started just, you know, staying there. But then my passion for the job went away. It was like I dreaded getting up. 4 30 in the morning i dreaded going to work you know and then okay if that wasn't enough my anxiety just started going crazy like i was starting to have panic attacks on the bus and you know i had something wasn't right i was forgetting i would be driving i forget where i'm at and i knew something was off with me so you know i went to my doctor and my doctor put me out of work okay now, I'm like, okay, God, you got my attention now because, you know, I ain't playing about this. I ain't playing about my body and my mental health state. I said, okay, God, you got my attention. Within being worked out of one week, all of my symptoms, um, the muscle aches, the forgetness, all of my symptoms ceased. Like, I was having migraines. I'm, I don't even suffer from migraines. That let me know it was from the job. So, I said, okay, God. I'm going to resign from this job, but I need you to direct my path on what to do next because I'm fully trusted in you, okay? I'm fully trusting in you, God. I'm, I'm walking away. That I'm fully trusting in you. Y'all got to excuse me because I'm getting a little emotional because this has really been hard for me, you know, walking away from what I've known to pay my bills. This job had helped me to be financially stable, to raise my children, but I got to trust in God. So... After all that happened, see, that's why you got to go when God say go, because God will make the situation unbearable when you have to leave. So if God telling you to leave, just leave. And about a month and a half ago, I had a dream about the darkness is coming. It's like the darkness was was overpowering the earth and I was running and me and my family was running and we got away from the darkness. And I'm immediately calling like my kids, like, what's going on? What are you into? Because um, my daughter, Sarah, she was a focus in the dream. And later she revealed to me that there there were some people around her messing with some some dark stuff and i was like you got to get away from that something is coming you you better line up with the word you got to get away from that so god has been dealing with me in certain areas of my life and um I was like, okay, God, I'm I'm going to leave this job, so I need you to direct me. Like, whatever you have me to do next, you know, I need you to direct my path. So there was a few jobs that came through, but it was so many different things going on with that. I was missing the training. I wasn't getting the emails. I said, okay, God, maybe that's not for you. So, you know, I'm still just trusting in him. But let me tell you, I said, regardless of what happened, I'm paying my tithes. So yesterday, I paid, I paid my tithes, all right? This morning, no, yes, and also yesterday I was listening to my mentor. She said, start writing down a day daily list of goals of what you're going to do. So I said, okay, that's going to be what I'm going to do for November. So the first thing I said, I'm going to pray. And then as I was praying this morning, I said, God, I'm not going to pray for my situation. I'm going to pray for others. I'm praying for people that are sick. I'm, I'm praying for people that are um, bereaved families. I'm praying for others. I'm praying for those bus drivers out there that's protesting for their rights, well-deserved. I'm praying for others. And right when I got through praying, I get a text. And it said, your claim has been paid, okay? I dare y'all to trust God. I dare y'all to step out on faith. I dare you to be obedient. And I'm like, what claim? Because I was putting some claims in for all the medical stuff. And I was getting denied, denied, denied. So I was not expecting anything. But the decision was reversed, Okay. And it was enough of money to cover like a few bills. And I was like, okay, God, I should have been made this move. I should have been trusted you and did what you was telling me to do. So as I'm telling y'all today, once you cleanse your soul and once you cleanse your mind and you start walking holy, holiness is right. I don't care. I said, Lord, since I've been on this journey, I have lost family members. I have lost, lost friends. The Lord said, speak holiness. Holiness is right. 
the darkness is coming. You better speak what I tell you to speak. So I said, okay, God, I do it in, in, in the way he has given me to do it. I don't consider myself to be no preacher, no prophet, but God does deal with me. And I, and I just want to encourage y'all this morning, keep doing the right thing. If God said, leave, leave, step out on faith. He will provide. He is Jehovah Jireh, my and your provider. Trust him. Trust him. November the 1st, I got a testimony that just set the stage for the rest of this month. I dare y'all to walk out on faith. Get rid of any, that's the, another thing God was dealing with me. Cleanse yourself of anything that's trying to attach. Anything that is not of him. Any type of sinful nature. Cleanse yourself of that. Watch the people that you attach yourself to. And I promise you, God is going to deliver his word. You stand firm. You stand firm and you stand on his word. And God is going to deliver what he said. He's looking for bold people. He don't want you to be like everybody else. He wants you to stand out. We are needed in such a day like this. In such a messed up, the way people think, a, se a sexual driven world. God needs somebody to stand apart. Everybody don't have to be behind the pulpit. This is ministry right now, what I'm doing. And I just thank God that I stepped out on faith. He had he had to start messing with my health for me to really listen, but he got my attention. So y'all have a blessed day. I just want to um, share this testimony with y'all.